Okay, welcome back. I am searching through the brush. There's something out here. Let's see if I can melee this guy. If I can't, then... No, I got him. Looks like you can creep up on the skeletons. Because I certainly can't kill them with my current bow. It's not strong enough. Okay, there's a whisperer out here somewhere. I've restored the skull to the guy after I killed that wraith thing. This is the battlefield. Or rather, this is the place where that girl got killed. I'm going to have to switch the bow. I don't have ammo enough to rely on anything else. Those things, okay. Musket ball. Hopefully, that doesn't bring anything else. But I was not confident of killing that thing with the bow. Hello, uh, what do you want? Oh shit! Shit, that scared me. Do an inexpensive looking sheath for a large knife. Okay. Were you murdered? Something out there. Mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. I mean, it's pretty well crafted, to tell you the truth. I mean, half the ghosts don't remember the order of the events happened in, or they don't remember the full thing. Not until you confront them with, with like, evidence. It makes you wonder what happened. I suspect that someone attacked the girl, and that's what led to the um. Oh shit. That's what led to the settlers being attacked in turn. And yeah. Leading me back to the camp? Is that it? He was scared by the way she looked at him. Was it the look in her eyes after he killed her? Is that it? And that's what prompted them? Let's find out. Isaac Cantrell drew his knife. He had the girl pinned to the ground. She, she wasn't even struggling. Just looking at him, I begged her to let her go, but he stabbed her so hard. 
heard the blade scrape the rocks under her. Why? Why did he have to do that? Okay, so it seems like we've got a murderer. Still something here because X is telling me that I can't. X isn't telling me that I can't hear anything. There, that deep sound. Did I just hear that or? Sounds like there's a whisperer. It has a different quality to it. I mean, that or I'm just imagining thing. Things. I mean, do you hear something else in the background there? It's like a sort of menacing tone to it. gone now, so I was possibly imagining it. What have I got? Oh, three and three. Might as well reload it though. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Okay, it's gonna be something here. But what is the question? I'm going to take the quality musket. I mean, yeah. Quality musket, 105. Common, 110. It's got moderate range. Oh, here we go. This is what was calling. Why did they kill the captain? Savages, why did they blame him? He never touched the girl. It is. You are Isaac Cantrell. That's right, I remember now. Killed the Indian girl. Captain Swoyd, hang any man who ravaged a savage woman. She would have told someone what was done to her. You raped her? We both did, me and Samuel. What happened to you? I remember a savage showing me a finger with a ring on it. It was the captain's ring, so I asked why he killed him and he says revenge from his sister. I tell him the captain never touched her, it was me. Next thing I knew I was on the ground. He was plunging his knife down again and again. Well, it sounds like you deserved it. Hello? So we observed two savages of ju observing us from the adjacent hill for two hours. So made no effort to conceal themselves and seemed very, very relaxed and curious. Samuel Mallard remarked that if we could see two, there must be a dozen hidden. I'm not hearing the chime that indicates a chest. I swore I heard it before. Nothing. So, Indians attacked and retribution. They killed the captain who wasn't to blame. Assuming he'd done it. He was the one out collecting firewood. And there must have been a battle. But that can't be right because if they killed him... Sam said that they, the captain called him a coward during the first battle. I mean, that's if I'm remembering it right. Okay. 
See if I can stealth one, blow the other one away with my pistol. Bastard. Let's see if we can get this one too. Nice. Okay, looks like we're going back to the fort. Back to the fort, we're going to talk to the guy. We are going to see what's going down. See what he can remember. We have yet to meet the ghost of the captain. I'm sure we will, however. He raped that Indian girl. I suppose I did. I can remember her lying there watching me. Why me? Why not Isaac? She was naked except for one shoe. She was bleeding badly when Isaac stabbed her. She was trying to say something, but all that came out of her mouth was bloody bubbles. I didn't like the way she was staring at me, so I ran away. Richard Wilkinson was killed in retaliation for what you had done for her. What YOU did to her! They wanted revenge, but he told them he would find the culprit himself and be hanged in accordance with English law. Okay, let's not wander around. I'm going to find this next point, and you can join All me right, there. I suspect I'm here. It's the battlefield where the captain was killed. But I also hear something else. Some sort of... Magical wine coming from further back in the forest. You're not going to turn to that wraith like the girl. No? I sent those men to die. Start in. Soldiers into my camp, they died because of me. I sent them out of the fort. I said the Englishman shouldn't cower behind walls. His helmet is yours. You are Captain Wilkinson. Yes, I am Richard Wilkinson. What happened to you? I could feel myself screaming, but I heard nothing. Such much pain. I couldn't breathe. One of the savages opened my visors, leering at me, holding something up so that I could see it hand, it wore my ring. I realized I was screaming again. I was sinking into darkness. I let it go. This is what I deserved. I called Samuel Mallet a coward. I saw him on the ground. I thought he'd thrown himself down in fear. I apologized afterwards. He said their blood was on my hands. He said it should have been my blood. What? Okay, I've, I'm confused as to what happened. Someone raped the girl. Samuel and Isaac? And then, in retribution, the Indians wanted to punish them. But he said that th they'd be hung under English law. And so they attacked him, they cut off his finger, but yeah, it's the fact that the the stories are told out of order because of the memories. See, am I the... Do you hear that humming? I'm sure I'm not. <laughs> It 
see that is quite clear. I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's you. No, it isn't. It's this way. What is it? Do I want to know what it is? Wow, I'm way out in the middle of nowhere. Where's that coming from? Okay, let's just skip to the next point. Otherwise, it's going to be me running through the forest for bloody Okay, ever. back to the sentry post. You told Richard Wilkinson it should have been his blood that was spilled. I made certain that it was. I remember I was whittling to pass the time. I was anxious whether I wonder he would return. After I told those savages that it was him that raped and killed the girl. He was late coming back. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, he lied to save his own skin. What a dick! Okay, and on that bombshell, we end this episode. Because the Dark World's done, Light World is done, and now I'm going to scour the area for treasure chests and junk. So, next time, we may be moving on to the next area. That's what's coming up. Look forward to it.